STS-95. She will also be very busy back in the space lab doing a lot of uh, science research uh, in biology and be working a lot of the NASA payloads. Senator Glenn Don Sider from People Magazine. Uh, have you... And uh, three weeks from today, with any, uh, in about an hour from now, I guess it is, we'll be, that thing will light off back there. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this, as uh, you can imagine. I'm sure there are many people in the crowd right here would like to go along too, and uh, it's not... I can't imagine having an opportunity to go up and do this kind of research with the benefits that I just mentioned just off a couple of projects and not wanting to do it again. Uh, plus, just from a human aspect, to get back to, to what you were talking about, uh, to be up there in a vantage point that just a very, very few hundred people have had the ad advantage of being up there and experiencing this as a new human experience is something uh, I think everyone here would like to go up and do themselves. Zero. Gonna be going straight up to about 1.7 G pretty quick. Okay. Going pretty good? Yeah, fine. I'm not back as a legislative passenger. Uh, I'm back as a science passenger, and that was the basis on which I was selected. It's the basis on which I have trained. And that's what my objective is on this flight. Uh, if there are others that have a different view of that, well, I just ask them to look at, at what we've been doing and look at the training, uh, look at the experiments in detail, and uh, then make their judgment. Glenn, uh, Peter King from CBS News Radio, and not to rain on. Hi. Chiaki is a Japanese astronaut, obviously. We uh, are space rookie on this flight. We'll be making his uh, training on how to use those slot uh, safety equipment that's uh, on the pad.